welcome to November. So since this is the month of Thanksgiving, we are going to do a gratitude type of focused reading. Um, so number one, what are the general blessings that we're harvesting this month? Number two, what do I need to be grateful for in regards to health, career, finances, relationships, and then further um, from relationships, like how can I better express gratitude to others in my life? Um, we're going to look at what we should be thankful for in our love relationships or, you know, on our journey to finding those. And then how do I better express, you know, gratitude there as well? Um, looking at our spiritual and personal development path, what are the areas of um, thanks that we should be giving there? And then how do I better express gratitude to myself because, you know, hashtag self-care. Um, so this is going to be a longer reading than usual for November, but let's get started. <laughs> Sagittarius, general blessings for you in November are that your long-term plan is secure, that everything that you're planning on um, achieving over your lifetime, like you're moving in the right direction to get all the things that you want. Um, what should you be grateful for in regards to your health in November? Your confidence. Um, your confidence, your passion, all of these things that are exciting to you um, in relation to your health is is good. It's working for you. You've created a really good balance in your life that will help you either achieve greater health or maintain it. In regards to your career, they're saying where you've been investing your efforts, your time, your energy, um, it's not as though everything's going to show up right now for you, but everything is within reach. It's like all the things you've been working towards, all of your goals, they are starting to um, become more they're like closer to reality now. Like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and that's a good thing. They're saying um, that in regards to career, like try to find your childlike joy. Like try to focus on what it is that brings you happiness and joy in your career. Like what was cool about having a job from a childlike standpoint? Like do you remember when you were a kid how badly you wanted to like be a waitress or how badly you wanted to be a cashier at a grocery store, like how fun it seemed to like scan little items across, like finding those little moments of joy in your career are going to help you a lot this month. Um, they're saying this is going to make you feel really content with what it is that you're doing, trying to find the silly, like mundane little tasks and make them super joyful. Um, what should you be thankful for in your finances is like, it seems like November, you don't have to work as hard. So if you work in um, a business in which you get commissions or tips, it's like they just come easily or naturally to you this month without you having to apply too much effort, regardless of what you do, like any type of sales. It's like instead of having to go and create a bunch of ads, it's like by word of mouth or something, people start finding you. And this is so it doesn't mean it's going to be an easy month where you don't have to work, but it's exciting in that you don't have to apply as much effort to make as much money or as much gain. OK, um, what's going to be a good blessing for you in regards to your relationships that are not romantic. They're saying, um, well, any worry or anxiety that you have is kind of a blessing. Uh, you know, if you're just not up for it, like going out, partying, having a good time, that's a good idea. Uh, you should trust your instincts. Um, you could really dodge a bullet there, literally. I have a friend, her and I went out one night and we thought, okay, we're going to have a good time. Let's go over here to this place. And then as soon as we got near to the building, we went, Ugh, I don't know, the vibe seems off and we went somewhere else. And it was a good thing we did because when we got picked up in our Uber later from where we were at, um, we drove by and we couldn't get by because there was a shooting. So trust those instincts. Okay. Nobody died though, but you know, good thing we weren't there. Would have sucked to get shot. Um, relationships. So we were talking about relationships that are not romantic. How can you express gratitude to those types of people in your life? Your friends or your family members. And they say, um, just let them know that even though the relationship isn't exactly always what you thought it was going to be when you first met. Or um, 
even though things change and don't go as planned, that you know that they are like your ride or die person. And likewise, you were that for them, um, that you appreciate the longevity of your friendship and that they stick around through the highs and lows, the ups and downs. Now, in regards to your love life, if you are single, what do you have to look forward to? And they're saying um, it's something that you there's something about being single that you haven't really thought about that actually is a blessing. And now I wonder why they phrase it that way instead of telling us what it is, maybe because it's different for every person. Um, but what they're saying is for the majority of, majority of you, you're in the right place at the right time. It's not that you don't have any suitors. Like people are looking at you and like, wow, that's the kind of person I either wanna be or I wanna be with. Um, so why are you still single? And they're saying maybe because you kind of are up on a pedestal and people don't feel good enough for you. Now, that's not really your problem, though. That's their own confidence crisis, right? And so they're saying stay focused on what you want and do not settle. And so the reason why this is a blessing is it's because you're not going to end up settling in a relationship that is less than what you want or less than what you deserve. Um, it's like better just to be single and wait for the right person to show up, right? Okay. So for those of you who are coupled, they're saying you're a little bit confused about what's the most important thing in your relationship right now. As long as you stay focused on what is the end goal, what is it that we both want for the long term, then that's the right avenue to take. So for example, maybe you and your partner both want to buy a house, but you're arguing over do we get a condo, do we get a townhouse, do we get a house in this city or that city? Um, the point is you both want to be together and you both want to invest money in it, right? I mean, you're looking at your long-term plan. It doesn't really matter um, what it is. And so you're lying to yourself when you get caught up in the details of things. Like, if we're going to be kind of nagging our partner or, um, you know, putting a lot of pressure on ourselves, that's not the right way to go about things in our relationship this month. They're saying it's not that you're being judgmental or anything like that, but you do need to shift your perspective a little bit and think about... Whatever it is that I'm bringing up right now in our relationship and I'm viewing it through the lens of problem, like, is it really? Like, three weeks from now, am I going to give a fuck about this? Probably not. And if you are going to give a fuck about it, well, then that's not what I'm talking about. But um, there's certain things that we get really caught up on and stuck on that really don't matter. So why are we going to create chaos? Um now, how can you better show love and appreciation, gratitude to your partner? And they're saying, by taking a fucking chill pill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. um, so what is the blessing that will come from either your spiritual development or your own personal growth attempts and efforts? Ugh. They say... But the challenge is to realize that you're not stuck. You might feel plateaued. You might feel like you're not really developing and growing anymore, but you are. Um, what they're saying is that's a mindset that you'd be stuck in, and that might be a good place to start um, working on things. They say, think about what it is that you really want instead of what your limitations are. We might be complaining about like, well, I really want this thing, but I can't get it because of this, or I can't get it because of that. Stop thinking about your limitations, because on an energetic level, then you're pulling more limitations towards you instead of moving towards what it is that you desire. Is there anything else that Sagittarius needs to know? And they just say, it's okay to um, change your mindsets and it's okay to change our minds, right? Like if we never changed our minds, if we never um, withdrew from contracts or promises that we had made, um, we would have really goofy lives, right? Like if what I wanted when I was seven years old was the same thing that like I promised, you know, maybe I promised myself, like I will have those things in my 30s. Right now I'd be married to Axl Rose and Paula Abdul would be my best friend. And um, I tell you, I look, I'd look a mess. I'd have huge bangs, crimpy hair. It'd be a disaster. So um, it's okay to do that. But some of you are just really, really stuck in this mindset of like, nope, I promise, like this is what I'm going to do. Like, um, this is how things just have to be. This is just how things are. And that's actually not the case. It's okay to change your mindset. It's okay to change the way that you're doing things. And it's actually advised in the month of November. Um, they're saying like, you're at a fork in the road. Things can keep being the way that they are, which for some of you, it's not that bad. But for some of you, it kind of fucking sucks. Or you can change it. It's up to you. Love you. See you in December.